this side we've got some blackberries A plum. Uh, smell it. You smell it like a plum. Rose hips. As many as I've been wild on. Buck buck. Oh, but outside that fleshy bit, that's like a fruit, tastes a bit like tropical. And here we have a wall of blackberry. All the way down that side. All the way along this side. Yeah. I'll try that way. Put the new one way out there for a minute. Well, they've been out there. Are these what people pick to put in the car? Hmm, blackberry pie. Apple and blackberry. Nice, don't you? I'm going to see if it's right. Not too right, otherwise it's good. Hmm. They yeah. fell off. I don't see them. Yeah, you get acorns. Acorns are uh, like a good source of starch. It's just a nut. Bad, that one. Mm -hmm. There's a grub eating it. Hello. There's a grub there eating it. Oh. What a rock. <laughs> you could eat the grub. <laughs> so these, all these bees on here. The bees. There's hundreds of them. Can you hear them? whole ground eye is alive with them. So Dad, do you know what reason why it's covered in bees, isn't it? Well... Because it's the last place they can get pollen from. Yeah. Nobody else, nobody else can flower that's only flower. Well, these some that's the main flowers producing pollen, yeah. I thought the mothers were elderberry. No, that were Gilda Rose, Gilda Berry. That's elderberry, E-L-D-E-R. -E what are they good for? Well, you've had elderflower. Um, wine? What they call it? Elderberry wine. I've had elderberry. elderberry wine. That's yeah. wine. I know, but what is it good for? Is it good for anything? Well, it's it's got vitamin C and other things in that you know fruit has. So mm. plus it'll fill you up if you get a few of them. Got fibre in it. Yeah. Mineral, mm. vitamin, all those type of things. It's missing, you know, when you from meat and other things. You can't get from meat. You know. Nettles, the nettle tea. There's a beech tree here, so we'll get some beech nuts. Yeah, and yeah. then we're into beech trees. Well, there's no insects in there. Oh, there might be any insects in there. If you all go, I'll get some. 
you know, you walk past these every day, you don't even know they're already there. Yeah, you're up now. Uh, you, you're obviously a black one, yeah. Yeah, everybody knows black. So there's some more for you. Well, that, like, that, one, that one will be perfectly right. Wait a minute, call me. I'll get another one. So that one will open. And you get two little nuts in. You go on a beech tree. And you just peel the shell your nut. And it's overripe that one, look. How did you know? Because the nut's gone. Oh, right. It's just a seed left. Are you sure there's an insect that's not hit it? Might have done something, might have hit it. So you get one before it's open. Oh, don't start that game. Will that be all right? This one looks a bit more promising. Oh, mm. yeah, look. There's not a lot left in it. They're getting a bit overdone, but that... Does it taste up? Or not? Tastes like <laughs> an unsalted nut. <laughs> try and get, I'll try and get a better one. It's not a really good nick, Is it the right time of year? It's a bit late. It's a bit late in here. So obviously, doing that, well, this is it, the, the, the survival tool. Yeah, no, but. Here's a knife, isn't it? How do you get in without the knife? You need a beach. Unless you're a squirrel. A squirrel with your teeth. See, that's a proper, that's more like a beach, not? So. There you go. The nut. Mm. That's one. Yeah, big piece, you know, you ain't gonna be shy. Nutty. Nutty. Yeah. Not like that involved, is it? Well, but you have to get, you have to detect three of them just to get them. No, no. <laughs> Where do you get the syrup from though? Maple it tree. From oh, from its tree. Yeah. You have to uh, tap its trunk. Like you would have done. I think you render it down, you boil it down. Oh, bless. If it gets rid of moisture, leaving sugar behind it, it becomes a syrup. So you've got to be careful with it. There's like three different trees that have been. Some little dandelion. Dandelion. That means a toothy lion. What's this one there? The French call it kissy bed. This? The, that's M long. Yeah. What people think is cow parsley. Yeah. That's M long. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. If you can see the brown trout and the crayfish. Oop, brown trout have gone there. Yeah. Well, there's more. Crayfish is in this corner, right in this corner down here under the bridge. You just see some colours and they're moving. Oop, oh. that's it slippy. It's see you moving. Eating something. I can't zoom in because I can't see it. It's down here somewhere. 
Don't move. Don't see him. Big bugger, isn't it? Now I know water magnifies a bit, but that's a big bloody. Hey, oh, I've got him. There's one surface down there. Bigger, big fish. Have a look at that. That's a big fly rod, mate. Oh, do you see him? There's some big. I see the trout moving about. I think they're scared to scare crayfish off. Just going down there to have a look what jumped under that tree down there. It's clearer water down that end. 